What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the priest, and I'm back with the channel message directly from the universe. So if you guys are here, it is not by coincidence. I do truly believe that you have been sent here by your guides, by something higher to hear such a powerful and potent message that I have for you guys today. There are four different decks that you can choose from. Each deck symbolizes the energy of who you are and who I'm speaking to. Underneath that lies the events and the circumstances that you may find yourself in. And lastly, I'm going to be pulling the channel message for the exact message, the exact verbatim of verbiage that your soul needs to hear to feel a sense of freedom and fulfillment. So this is going to be a very, very powerful reading. So if you guys are here for the first time, you've definitely been sent here. If you guys are here for another time, shout out to the Tarot Tribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you guys are looking for content or anything that I have going on, you can find it down below. In the meantime, I'm going to hop into the reading. We have four different decks that you guys can choose from. All right, you can pause the video. You can jump down to the chapter down below to the deck exactly to what you feel like is pulling towards you. Or you can just, again, trust that first instinct that is being led here because that is going to be the voice of your higher self. That is going to be truly uh, where the messages lie. Do not be afraid to choose the wrong message. I do not believe there is a such thing as a wrong message. Even our mistakes are utilized from the brilliance of the universe to still get us a message that we really need to hear. So don't forget to comment down below after you guys choose your deck. Again, if you guys are looking for more information, you can find it in the description. In the meantime, let's jump into these readings and see what the universe has to say directly to you. We got shows deck number one. This is your message directly from the universe. So if you guys chose this deck, this means that the energy that you are currently carrying or could be in is an energy of action, of energy of really wanting to get things done, an energy of inspiration that could be coming to you. You could also be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but this is also just giving me that fiery energy. So my question to the universe was just simply give me the energy of the person that is selecting the reading so that I can really connect with you and understand what it is that you're going through and how the universe is already connecting with you and giving you the guidance that you're seeking. So it is confirmation what I'm feeling. It says move forward with confidence and now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. So maybe even if you're not in that energy or you really desire to be, I do feel like, again, you're going to be inspired to really take action. So if things have been feeling stagnant or something just ended, or if you're, um, looking backwards or have been for some time spirit is saying now is the time to move forward because if you don't look forward you might miss the opportunities looking backwards and also what spirit is saying it's not just the past and the present like those are imaginative places literally <laughs> imaginative places so you can only make decisions in the now it is in the now where your power is so some of you could be dwelling on the past or maybe looking in the past oftentimes or maybe oftentimes being you know looking forward to the future so much that you're missing what's in the present moment so opportunities are here right now spirit is saying you don't have to wait you don't have to go back okay they're here right now so some of you have talents that maybe you've yet to discover or will discover in this next phase of your life that are going to help you land the pentacle, which just means have success. So you already have the talents that you feel like you need. You already have those talents to make success come into your life. Okay. So something that you do have that you can look forward to as far as your strengths is that you're very quick with it. So if something happens, you can, you know, pick yourself up really quickly, uh, very persistent, able to get back to it. You have very keen senses. So you do have, in a sense, it feels, you definitely feel like an Aries. You don't have to be, but Aries can be strong in your chart, but this is just more so of animal instincts, which are still in a sense more prominent than human intellect. And I know that sounds crazy, but it is your senses that will give you awareness that will protect you that will warn you, that will tell you this is the contract, this is the job, that will lead you directly to success. So you already do have very heightened senses and awareness. So that is a strength not to overlook. 
and this will lead you to success. So if some of you have a fear or worry about success coming in, this is just a confirmation and also just a message to let you know that success is here and you may be overlooking it by looking in the future. Okay, we have the seven of cups. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the chariot. You could be a cancer. You don't have to be. We have worry here, which is something I was picking up. Okay, financial worries, health worries or concerns. Maybe some of you are becoming more aware of that. We're going to get into that. I want to kind of also see some of the challenges and what spirit wants you to know, courage. So you definitely could be a Leo. Lots of fire energy. Again, you don't have to be. These are just the signs that I'm definitely picking up. So with the five of pentacles, this is worry. We also have the seven of cups, which is about having many, many options, maybe not knowing which one is the right one for you. Okay, that's why spirit, it's good that you're in that situation because what it's doing is it's helping you develop your senses more by knowing exactly what you want, by trusting that instinct right away is what I'm getting. So if you do find yourself with a lot of options and, and, and paths and opportunities, which I definitely feel for you, it's more so of like, which one do I choose? What is the right one for me? Spirit is saying, take it slow with the princess of this, the kindergarten teacher. So take some time to educate yourself a little bit more about the path of your dreams. Not sure why that's coming to me, but some of you have certain dreams that you want to achieve. Okay, let's get that, why that's there. Seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here for, for deck one? Thank you. Ace of cups. All right. Temperance. So this is definitely a reconciliation with your true self. Like there is more that's being revealed about who you are and also what it is that you want out of life. So you will be presented with many options, but I'm feeling the right option is going to be the one you've always desired is what I'm hearing. Even maybe from a child, there is a lot that's being revealed here. It's like your dreams are involved. The world, okay? Yeah, I definitely feel like this new path that you're going to be choosing, the one that's closest to your dream life, the the life that you would enjoy when you wake up and you're so excited because you're like, I, I can't believe this is my life. That is the energy and alignment that spirit, the universe is trying to get to you, okay? Another thing is I asked spirit, the universe, exactly what you needed to hear. And this is the card that came up. Reveal your truth and observe in silence. Some of you are going to have to move forward from many situations in your life. The path and the decisions may have felt complicated because other people's opinions are involved and you're considering other people. You might be considering other people's opinions, approach, perspective. There's a lot of chatter. And spirit is saying that your voice is the one that you must follow. That voice is going to lead you to your dream life, the life that you desire to, to live, okay? So with the seven of cups, we have one, the ace of cups, which is the one. So there's one path, okay? And we can get some, some clues on what this path would feel like for deck one. How would they know it's the right path? What would it feel like, okay? It will feel like understanding. You will understand more. It'll make sense to you. It'll be so truthful that it'll make sense that you're meant to do this. And then also concentration. So this new path is going to involve understanding and concentration from a higher level. Spirit has been trying to reveal who you are behind the mask of who people want you to be. It's going to take courage. But when you look beyond the mask of, again, the mask is just the identity. It's the ego. <laughs> it's the ego. It's the identity for the world, for the earth. I call it, it's when you have your earth gear on. You're a vessel, right? But your spirit is within this vessel, within this body. So you're more than just your body. 
you're finding what you are, who you are, and spirit is revealing that. And this helps you make decisions way clearer and more precise and feeling good about it because it is in alignment with your truth. Therefore, it cannot ever be the wrong decision. Some of you could have a fear of making a decision, a fear of making a choice, but spirit is saying now is the time to act and the best way to act is on your ultimate happiness and fulfillment. Directly is what spirit is saying to reveal your truth. Who are you? Temperance at the bottom of the deck I seen you could be a Sagittarius. But again, this is a reconciliation with your true self, which just happens to be very strong, fierceful, and very loyal. Leo vibes. And in this next level in your life, you are going to attract only strong, fierce, courageous, loyal people. But if you keep this mask on, you will keep attracting what this mask is attracting. And the mask is not you. You are not the mask. And the mask is the identity. It's the gender. It's the um, occupation. It's the religious belief. It's, it's all of those labels that you are not. You are so much more than any word could ever describe. You are going to find out. <laughs> just what you are another thing is that we don't really have as much major arcana on the board i know that i pulled the world in reverse and that was the first time i'm getting a major arcana besides the chariot that i can see on the board here the chariot is telling me that you are moving forward and that you will help have help moving forward But I'm also sensing that spirit is saying that you have a higher awareness that is guiding you to be more aware of that, to concentrate more on that. All right. So we have observe in silence and then we have the world in reverse. So the chariot tells me that as far as spiritually and from a higher, higher perspective, directly from spirit with the major, it's that you are moving forward. Okay. You are moving forward. You are not stuck. You are not trapped. You are moving forward. Even if you cannot see it in the physical, you are moving forward. We also have the five of cups in reverse. So that's good. You're going to be coming out of regret. There is, there will not be anything to regret when you make this decision. It will feel so good as far as in alignment with what feels good to you. Even if you feel bad to leave people behind, you have to understand the difference from when your ego feels bad because your spirit never feels bad. From a higher perspective, it's everyone's good. So feeling bad is an indicator at all times that we're in our ego. And it's, it, it's a lot to it, but I definitely see that you guys are, um, spirit is taking you to a whole nother level of truth, of understanding what is this all. But the bottom of the deck, we have the sun card, lots of Leo energy, lots of happiness here. All right, you guys are going to be shining. It, some of you have already made the decision with the Knight of swords here. Some of you are very strategic. Maybe you overthink your decisions, which is taking a while for you. Even if, if you overthink your decision, you're still in your ego because remember that first instinct is going to be the decision because it will feel good. So there's a lot and spirit is definitely talking. So let's just see why is the world card in reverse? Nine of wands. Okay. And the six of wands. Okay, good. Page of swords. It might have taken some time. All right. Spirit is saying not to worry about your financial situation. Understand that you are abundant. Understand that how you feel affects your finances. It affects your health, how you feel. It's all connected to feel good is to feel God. So to follow those feelings of what feels good, does it feel good to be in lack, to feel broke, to feel like you don't have enough? Does it feel good to worry? Does it feel good to stress? Stress causes literal illness here. Does it feel good to regret? If the answer is no, as it should be, then that is the truth. That is the truth. To feel good is to feel God, okay? So that is the truth here. And I see that this path is gonna bring you a lot of success 
You're not going to have to explain yourself. And Spirit is saying, when you make this decision to move forward into a path that you feel like is your truth, you will have success. But you might not be able to explain it to people right away. You might not be able to. You might have to observe in silence. Let's see what your guys' final message from the universe is. Stay strong in your faith. Concentrate on the what you want to happen. Some of you are using your power to concentrate on what you don't want to happen and it's activating. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to fall if I, if I get up there. Well, yeah, if you keep saying that you're going to, you're using your power to declare this over your life. There is more, okay? If you guys chose deck number one, I'm definitely feeling like there is more that the universe is getting ready to show you, to show you that this is real. More, more of an understanding about the universe, okay? Because we have the world in reverse, all right? The six of wands here just says that you guys are going to have a lot of public recognition after you take this path. This path is going to lead you to your dreams. This path is easy. You don't have to work so hard. It's not tiring with the nine of wands here. It's not exhausting. So whatever it is that you're getting into next, spirit wants you to know that you are not alone, that you have guidance that is leading you. You have courage. You have so much strength. You're very fierce. But again, if you don't know who you are, how could you know your power? How could you know your gifts? How can you know your talents? Your talents. We got to know the your. We got to know your before the talents. Whose talents? And that's where spirit is taking you, a deeper understanding of who you are. And there's more to you than what meets the surface. Very mystical. We have the mermaid here, um, just following that intriguingness in life that brings that, that feeling to you and keep following it like a child. Okay, and then spirit's advice for you was to stay strong. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. There's more to understanding about your vibration and who you are. Concentrate on your faith. And when you have doubt, that's where you have to ask yourself, why am I doubting this? And if that's the case, there's more to know so that you can feel at peace. Because when you know the truth, it's peaceful. It doesn't matter how chaotic it seems in the world, it brings you a sense of peace. We also have sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. So now is the time to love on yourself, to love yourself by getting to know yourself, discovering yourself beyond what your favorite movies are, what your favorite food is. You know what I'm saying? Like this is deeper than all of that. There's a you in there and it's, it's, it's raging to come out inside and just express this fierceness. So if you guys chose deck number one, I definitely feel like the universe is communicating with you. And some of you may be in a place of just being so analytical or so strategic that you're overlooking the voice of instinct because it does not come from a strategic place. It's not mental. All right. There's more to it. And I'm excited for your guys's journey. If you feel like you need more help along this and understanding what this is, I do have a lot of content that I upload on the woke vault or woke vault. You guys can find that in the description to find more content of revealing this truth and who you are, because this discovery is exciting and it's, <laughs> it's so overwhelmingly just amazing that you have a sense of gratitude of disbelief that it can even exist it's just it's a very very beautiful connection and i i see that you guys are right on the brink of even deepening that so if you guys chose deck number one this is your deck it's good to see you guys again and i will see you in the next video in the meantime i'm on to deck number two if you guys chose deck number two this is your reading for exactly what you need to hear from the universe directly Okay, this is going to be a very powerful message. I do feel like if you are here, there are going to be a lot of breakthroughs in this deck specifically. The first question I asked was, who are you? Give me the spirit animal of who I'm speaking to. Okay, so I have the grizzly bear. All right. So some of you are coming up as the grizzly bear, but not in a frightening way. Okay, you're coming up as indestructible. 
So you, a lot of persistence, you've been through a lot, nothing can break you. Some of you, that, that destruction led you directly to your intuition. So it says, I honor my intuition and go where it leads. So your intuition was even awakened in the darkest moments of your life. So we learn to be grateful for those moments because without them, how could we see our light? It's a beautiful story that you have, truthfully, and all of what you've been through has given you the power to overcome every single obstacle in your way. So if you are here right now, that means that you have overcome every single obstacle in your way. So it says love and gentleness are your real strengths. I will never give up. I will succeed. So some of you have this persistence of succeeding and not allowing failure to get the best of you as far as the fear of failure, because there's no such thing as failing. You are here. You are here is what spirit is saying. So you have been being led all along. It's not just you. So that deepening that connection. So I also asked the universe directly, what exactly is deck two going through? Okay. So we have the rock star that's in the upright reverse knight of wands. We have oppression. Okay. So you guys have been through a lot and we also have the painter, but you're very artistic and very creative. If you are here, you are an artist of some sort. There is a creative expression that you do have. I would like to get some more information on you and what that means. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Rock star. Thank you. Okay. King of Raphael and the moon. So we'll take those. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Your spirit guides are saying to release regret, guilt, or worry. It no longer serves you. What happened in the past no longer serves you. From the oppression. Why is oppression here? Okay, you have a story to tell is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying it is okay to release what has happened to you, what you have gone through, the pain that you've carried. It is okay to release that. Happier times are coming. Life always gets harder near the summit. You are right on the bridge. Everything that you went through activated this light in you, this artistic creative ability in you. All right. So you guys have a lot of energy here that I'm picking up. We also have with the moon, we have Pisces energy, which tells me that you are intuitive. Okay. So you don't have to be a Pisces, but... Pisces or just being connected to the, the moon psychic abilities in general, there are more abilities that you have that have been guiding you all along that maybe you just didn't identify, didn't even know was there. You're an artist, you're a creator. You are meant to create. Everything that you create is coming from a higher place. Downloads, visions, you're able to see it before it actually is here, whether you're drawing it, creating it, painting it, singing it, writing it, performing it, feeling it, knowing it. All right. So everything that has happened to you, you will no longer have to ever go through that again is what the universe is saying. It is okay to let it go. You are safe to let it go. It is infringing on your friendships. It is infringing on your relationships with people in general. You want to get close, but you don't know how. There's, it's based on everything that you've been through. Some may see you as a bear, a grizzly bear, but that's why I laughed when I first seen it because it's like, oh, it, there's, it's soft. You're not what it looks to be. People judge you by how you look and it has nothing to do with who you are. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. In fact, if we could choose our own bodies, I'm very interested in seeing what we would choose if we can choose how we looked and if how we look ever really truly feels like it resonates with us because we are so omni that just one, it's just a lot. Yes, spirit. <laughs> Woo, man, there's more that you are to see. Believe in yourself. Don't worry about those who didn't believe in you or can't seem to find the belief in you. Follow your dreams. You're coming up as the rock star. Everything that you went through, you will channel it in your art, in what you do, in what you create. 
And guess what? Even if you are the very small few that maybe don't feel like, you know, you're that creative, you have been creating this entire time, your reality. And now that you are here, something in your soul and spirit led you to hear this message so that you can know the truth about who you are. You are not who people say you are. You are who you know you are to be. You're warm, you're generous, you're honorable. You're, you're loyal. You're strong, you're persistent. And everything that you've been through sharpened these gifts of yours. So that's why spirit is saying to let go of everything that you've been through, the hardships, they're over. Because if you carry them, you carry the energy and like the crumbs of them, the, the vibrations of them. And then what do you think you're going to attract? Them, those moments by focusing on them. So even if they come up, there's nothing that you need to even think about anymore in your past, unless it comes to you for you to maybe release. So that's what spirit is saying. Also not to be so hard on yourself. All right. You have a lot of passion, a lot of gifts. You have a lot of youthful energy. So let's just see uh, what it is that spirit wanted you to know. Specifically, I asked just if there was one card out of the deck, the circle of eternal joy, timelessness, dance of life. So this card represents the, the sole purpose of life is to be joyful, to celebrate. And I do believe that as you're letting go of everything you've been through and everything that you're not even holding on to the perception that others have of you is something you're letting go because it's not true. You have so much power, but spirit is saying your purpose is to have eternal joy to uh, attract, you're going to attract a lot of beautiful friendships, friendships you've never, ever, ever, ever even experienced in this life. It will, might feel uncomfortable at first because it's not something you're used to, but I see you're building a tribe, a, 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 a space with people that are not judging you, that are open to what you've went through, who see you as brave, who see you truthfully, so you're here to dance. You're here to enjoy life. You're here to do what you love to do. And that will support yourself. It says, yes, it's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. So this lack of trust that you've had in some of these events and, and what you've been going through is also and can also infringe on the relationship that you have with your, your, with the universe, your, your guider, your creator, your whatever you believe universe God is to you. Now is the time to be youthful and go after your dreams. Now is the time to trust your instincts and see where it leads. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. What is your intuition? It is communication from a higher source, a higher power, whether it is your higher self whether it is the universe, whatever it is you believe it is, this is leading you. It says, face your fears and grow stronger. Face your fear of wanting to be accepted by others. Accept you. You accept you. And then all I see is you attracting that acceptance of you and others. All right, let's see what else the universe wanted you to know. Have courage. So you guys could have been going back and forth with one because that was another, a whole, another deck that said had courage, that said courage. So you guys could have Leo energy, have courage to walk down this path of being this rock star that you dream or imagine yourself to be wherever it is that you see yourself in the highest light. If you could imagine yourself and, and if you could say this would be the best, this would be the best life if I would have hit the jackpot if this was my life. And spirit says, when you find that, that vision of yourself, when you're like, yes, this is the life I hit the jackpot, that is confirmation that that is exactly the life you are meant to live and create here on earth, period. And in that, it brings you eternal joy. And then it manifests that within others. Some of you, if you 
If you're through your creations, you will inspire, you will heal. Yeah, for sure. Look at what you guys been through. It's a reason you have the blueprint and you're here. How did you get here? How do you still have hope? These are gifts, strengths that you're overlooking. Maybe because you feel like you're always having to fight or always having to, you know, pull yourself up. That is over. Follow your heart. Hear the ancient ones. You guys are connected to ancestors. So again, I'm asking the universe, give me exactly what they need to hear. And these are the cards that you need to hear. Have courage, have courage to be you. Have courage to say no. Have courage to accept yourself. Have courage to follow your joy and happiness. Even if it looks crazy, who cares? It's that craziness that is gonna inspire the world. I can't wait to see someone from my reading who's, 60 70 and they're still following their dreams we would love to see that example of that possibility so that others can see it's possible at a certain age that's for maybe a few of you because i i mean seriously i had the influencer webinar and there were 50s and 60 year old people who are going getting ready to become influencers just simply because of who they are and what they're connected to which is a higher source so that's another thing that I'm sensing here is there's a disconnect from source. When I look at these, these cards here, the only major arcana card I have here is the moon, which is secrets. You don't know. You don't know how deep this power goes. You don't know what you're connected to. Hear the ancient ones. How can you hear them? Through silence, through nature, through following that instinct. Let's see what that's about, their, their spiritual connection. So you guys can find all of that stuff, all of the education. Cause look, the higher font it's, this is, this is me. I come up a lot as the higher font as far as teaching. Okay. So the higher font is a teacher, a mentor spirit is saying, connect with someone who can help you directly connect with this higher power that you have. So Again, if you guys are looking for that content, you can find it at the wokevote or wokevote.com and it has all of the information of just becoming enlightened and, and, and empowering yourself. So with the higher font, that's exactly what I was feeling. There's a disconnect from you and God or the universe. And let me tell you, God, universe loves you so much. And I don't know why they're taking me here, but I know that you've been through a lot and maybe some of you have questioned why. Pretty soon you will no longer question why because it will make sense when you walk into this person fully of who you are, the, the questions others will ask you and you will see why you were the chosen one who had to be courageous and go through this so that others didn't. This is the life you chose. There's more to know here. However, the higher font, this is also Taurus energy, is in reverse. A balance of connecting with spirit and the practical world. I understand life gets crazy, but there is still spiritual world, spiritual understanding, a higher perspective that can disconnect you from the pain and awaken you to the life and the fulfillment that you truly desire and the peace. You simply desire to be happy, to have good friendships that you can trust, to be joyful, to not have to worry, to have beautiful connections. But there's more that spirit wants you to know here with the higher font in reverse, okay? We also have the moon twice, okay? Eight of pentacles. It also will affect your finances, this connection with source because source is abundant and source has infinite knowledge leading you to your desire and your desire is to succeed and therefore finances are a part of that. So all of this is connected to your, your, your higher self. The advice from your angels are multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or the person you're asking about. And that's exactly why I said there's more information that I have down below at the woke vote, because some of you have questions and there's so many layers in a higher perspective of why you went through what you went through. 
that's like the biggest thing. Like, okay, why did I have to do that? And why did this person do this? Or why did I get this unjust? Sometimes it's the chosen one who gets unjust so that we get stirred up because we're the one with the courage that's going to stand up and say, this is not right. Sometimes we don't think about the higher perspective of why we went through what we go through. There is a deeper connection spiritually that spirit is really saying hello. So moving forward, if you see signs, dreams, numbers, or coincidences, as we like to call them, just know that that is your spirit guide source universe trying to connect with you. So if you guys chose deck number one, like I said, don't forget to check that information out down below in the description, comment down below. I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and most importantly, so much courage for you to be you so that you can continue to change the world as you already are. I'm moving on to deck three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is the message that you need to hear directly from the universe. So if you guys are here and you chose deck number three, I asked the universe Give me the energy of the person I'm speaking to. And we have the peacock. So if you guys chose deck number three, you are very vibrant. You are meant to be seen. It is not a coincidence that out of all four decks, you chose deck number three. Deck number three holds the energy of a star, someone who is meant to be seen, someone who is meant to inspire, someone who will shine bright by simply just being the light, being their authentic truth. This person that you are, are, and always have been that maybe you hid in the past, or maybe you're just coming to is starting to open up kind of like the feathers of the peacock, you know, when they start to open up the thing with you is that spirit is saying it is the enjoyment of the discovery of self that promotes self love. It is that getting to know more facets of yourself that inspires you even and uh, that is actually who you are. And spirit is just saying that maybe sometimes you overlook this vibrancy that you have, but continue to, to get familiar and fall in love with you, finding you, discovering you. This is what makes it exciting when you start to see that you have this superpower and this superpower and this gift. So you were born to shine and inspire, period. So if you're here, that is your message. That is your confirmation. Yes, you are here to shine and inspire the world. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. So the humility side is just be humble, even if people have their own perspective of you. And there will be people who might be jealous, but that is just their higher self awakening them up to the greatness within them as well. Because you being your true self is only going to inspire them unless, of course, their ego is just not in a place to receive. And so a lot of you guys I'm hearing are teachers because I'm, I'm teaching to you as if you're a teacher. So, you know, you guys are being really raised to this next level of untouchable. Like, okay, say, say what you want, perceive what you want, but it is what it is. This is who I am and, and it doesn't affect me. And I just see you guys being so in tune with yourself that you're even attracting a life partner into your life with the two peacocks here. It says, be grateful for life and more good things will come. So the more gratitude you have about just learning yourself and really cool things that you're discovering that you actually have within this, it's almost like this spiritual, soulful chess box within you treasure chest that you're just kind of diving in and learning more and more and the more and more you go within yourself the more you learn these things about you be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance so you are a very brilliant person it's not just about what you look or or how you look to others a lot of people do see that you have a lot of brilliance so you have a lot to offer i definitely feel like spirit is desiring for you to have self-sufficiency for yourself because that's what you're desiring financial freedom to be able to do live and have the life that you desire to have i definitely feel like that's what spirit is saying so i also asked the universe what is it that you guys were going through and what current events were you guys experiencing right now? So we have change. So we have the two of pentacles. Some of you could definitely be just working on yourself, working on your health. And again, that just comes with being in tune with yourself, being very self-aware, very self-aware, self-conscious about what you're putting in your body. 
because it affects how you feel. So if you're here, I definitely feel like you are someone who is being raised to a higher, I don't like the word standard because that's for the world. This is just like a higher version of you that you're becoming and it's just natural. This isn't gonna be you forcing yourself to have to make these changes. This next place in your life, it's just so naturally aligned with who you are that it's just so easy to make these changes. And that's how I feel for you guys. So many of you could be definitely going through, um, you know, just changing things about your body, working out, exercising, um, and really just choosing you with the two here. Okay, we have the sun card here. So I see a lot of happiness coming for you guys. So again, you guys could be in a space right now where you see where you're going, but you might feel like you're not there just yet. So you see visions of happiness. Um, some of you could definitely be meeting a life partner, having children, having a family. This might be something that you're really manifesting. I see that's coming forward and forth to you. I see victory here with the six of wands. Six of wands is also public recognition, influence, fame, people noticing you. Okay, so if you're here, you could already have the YouTube channel. Um, you could already have a book or you could desire these things. Regardless of where you are, this is who you are. Whether you're, you're working to align with it or you already are it, this is who you are. Someone who is meant to have vict victory, success, and it's like, it just comes with it. You're so victorious, you're gonna be so, or you are so successful that it just kind of brings that attention to you. And I do see that, Yes, you will attract jealousy, but the cool part about it is you get to create a different perspective of what jealousy is. And if someone was jealous, I would say, listen, you wouldn't be jealous if you knew who you were. So let me help you find yourself so that we don't have this issue, right? Because that's really what it's going to be coming down to with just having a higher perspective of jealousy. It's silly. It's really silly when you think about it because all of us connecting to our true self will have all of the desires that we, that we truly want. And even if we think we want things that we're not getting, sometimes it's not really what we want. It's what our ego wants. We think we want it. And that's why I definitely feel like for you, you've definitely been challenged with your intellect. You're so brilliant that sometimes hearing the voice of, of, of the universe could merge. And that is just like, you're becoming one with the universe that you have so much infinite knowledge that comes to you and, and brilliance. And this is also part of your success is sharing it and being that light in the world, sharing all that you know, and that's bringing success and victory. Um, so yes, you are meant for that. It is the case. And I definitely see that for you. All right, let's see what else is going on. All right, we have the seven of swords. And we also have the Ace of Swords. So if things are on a pause right now, then that is for a reason. I'm going to get some clarity. One more card for deck number three. Thank you. Can't make it up if I tried. Seriously. This star card. So you are a star. And the biggest challenge that you may have had is, again, just hearing the voice of your intuition over your, the brilliance. You want them to work together so that you have the best of the both worlds, the brilliance and the intuition, that balance of both. So you could be an Aquarius. You don't have to be. You could be a Leo. Those are the two signs I have here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, definitely a lot of fire sign. Um, you don't have to have that, but that's something I see here. So you are the star. You have been following this light all along, this vision that you've had about yourself, where you're going to go, what you're going to create, what you're going to build. Spirit is saying, yes, you will build it. Universe is saying, yes, you will create it. You will write it. You will build it and you will be successful, period. That is the truth. Anything else that comes in, any doubt, fear, disbelief would simply be the beliefs of your ego, your mind. And that's why brilliance can only take us so far because what, what the mind does not know and doesn't understand, it is very limited in. And what the mind does not know and understand that's limited in, the spirit and the intuition can come in and take over from there. But the ego, the mind has to hand off the baton. You have been learning how to balance both. And that just tells me what high level you are at in your walk of spirituality or your soul. And you are meant to be seen and you are meant to shine and you are meant to share these experiences with others. You are meant to share the wisdom. There is going to be a path that is opening up. I felt like there was a reason. It's crazy, deck number three. 
when I say these messages are so easily flowing to me, like, I feel like you're here now. <laughs> like, you sitting right here? Your wings, right? If you ever seen the back of a peacock, how they open up the wings, have been closed <laughs> for some time, for a reason. It's almost like spirit universe has been protecting you from the people around, the circumstances around who would have taken advantage maybe, who would have, you would have went through and experienced a little bit more um, of what you didn't want to experience if people knew who you were. So if you guys are, you guys are still discovering yourself to the point where like, oh my goodness, this is me. And that is actually the fun of this discovery thing is just the more you discover, the more fun you have and you get to change things. And, and now you're inspiring people. However, there was a lot of like vulture, low frequency. You see how dark this is, right? You can see how dark this is. This is actually the seven of swords. This is the treacherous card, futility. This is also lack. This is also betrayal. This is also not being able to trust. Okay, so you had a lot of this around all of this that you're trying to birth in. Look at all this fire and light and sun and star. It's like you can't come. You have to chop off that excess fat. Look how vibrant you are. Chakras, healing, Reiki, all of it. You guys are here. You could be teachers, readers. Hi, you're lions. <laughs> I say there's lions, there's sheep, but you guys are the leaders. All right. You are the leaders. Many of you guys are going to inspire the world. Some of you could even be called to celebrity work, bringing the light into some of the darkest places, such as the entertainment industry, um, such as, you know, politics, such as, you know, those, those scary places that have so much greed, so much pretty much greed you know we say evil yes but evil is just so bad that it's like where does this come from it's greed it is greed it's you know jealousy it's just low frequency things and energies that people are in they don't know any better we're learning to love them regardless love unconditionally and you're setting an example you will be an example of the possibility this is something i tweeted as well the possibility just being the possibility is going to inspire many you will inspire so many more people by following that truth and being you rather than sitting and talking and trying to convince someone of the truth and everything you know. Just follow your journey and it'll naturally inspire them. But you did have to cut away that. So I do see that spirit purposely kept your, your wings closed so that the people around you couldn't see entirely who you were so that they couldn't almost taint the perception or hold you back from that. So you have been protected and guided all along. You are the star. It is going to be the light workers in the next five to 10 years who are the ones who are the influencers. Also check out wokevolt.com because on the woke vault, I added the influencer webinar. We're talking a lot about just being a light worker and you will be just that example and you will have a lot of success and you will be very vibrant and people will be very connected to you because this is your path of stardom. You are meant to be a star. Okay. You were just meant for it. This is a new path that you're going to take. It's going to bring you so much happiness. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, happiest card in the deck, victory, happiness, everything you want. Okay. Innovation. So you're here to be innovative. Look at this new creations, new creation. So this could have happened in 2020, this change that kind of took place in your life. But you are here to be an innovator. I hear Steve Jobs. That's what I was getting when I said, who cares if it's crazy? Because I believe his quote is something around, um, it's the crazy ones who change the world. You will change the world. The universe is literally telling you, you will change the world. It is up to you to believe and follow this light that you've, you've always been following it. So new creations are you're going to be birthing in. Could be books, um, could be apps, could be movies, could be music could be clothing, could be healing sessions, retreats. It's whatever you want to do. It's so exciting because you can do anything you want to. And especially because once you really understand, which I feel like many of you are here, that you are working with the highest source that has created literally every universe and planet on this, in this world, you will understand you cannot fail. You cannot fail. I asked the universe out of everything you need to hear right now for being here. Give me something that can really unlock something in them that will bring that, that freedom and that fulfillment. And the universe said, trust in magic. 
trust and magic that's been coming out a lot lately. So some of you probably were in the, the soul journey webinar with me, that live interactive workshop, because we talked a lot about trust and magic. So if you are here, I just, I strongly felt that you are a leader. You are meant to have your own business teaching and, and all of the things that you've learned to know, trust and magic. And it's crazy because that's what I was saying. Once you really, I mean, trusting in magic is just like you're letting go of everything and just trusting in that flow. And that's just going to naturally carry you on the current to everything that you want. And I know it sounds easy and it should because it is. It was never intended to be hard ever. But the magic is real we can't overlook it. We're teaching even our people that we cannot overlook magic because we're so fixated on the movies and seeing physical things happen, but that's not where the magic is. We are so limited in the 3D by just our five senses. Calm in the storm. So you are meant to be the calm in the storm. I actually also feel like spirit is wanting you to know, look at this, just vibrant like just vibrant, meant to shine, meant to stand out, meant to be seen. Don't judge yourself, accept yourself. You're beautiful inside and out. Your story is beautiful, what you've been through. So you are the calm in the middle of the chaos. You are that. So that's why you have been going through a lot of challenges in your life, maybe around chaos, maybe around a lot of storms because you have been the calm in it. So you've attracted a lot of storms. And you've now learned to be the center of the storm and still be happy. And now this next phase in your life is that you deserve to also have that reciprocated peace, what you're giving out. Anything else for deck three? Actually, I don't feel anything on that deck. What can they look forward to in the next few days? Insight. I love it. Insight. All right. So this is a deep, deep third eye chakra. I know it's blue. Okay. So I am also picking up, just speaking up, sharing your voice, getting on social media. If you haven't already created your channel, get out there, talk about the magic, talk about the light, talk about your insights. You are the star. You're meant to be seen. There's nothing to fear, nothing to fear. Nobody can say anything when you are aligned with the truth. There's nothing. There's nothing anyone can stump you with. It's literally the highest vibration of freedom, love, peace. It is the highest vibration of even communication directly from the universe following the truth. And the truth is going to be given to you an insight. So I definitely feel in the next few days, lots of insights about what you're going to be creating, how you're going to be bringing people together. I mean, some of this is so exciting. Some of you might not even want to sleep because you're so excited. Like, oh my gosh, I'm creating this and I'm creating that and understand that you're not doing it alone. So don't start feeling like, oh, I got to go out and do this. No, the universe is going to send all of, all of the people in for you. Okay. We also have reflection. So many of you will also be experiencing a reflection that you're going through and this reflection is really just to, tr to show you the true you that you are quantum leaping into. And some of you have already done that. And that is just aligning with the version of the reality that you actually really want to experience. It doesn't matter how much you think it costs. It doesn't how much matter how you're going to get there. Literally make up your mind on your desires and your dream life. And it is going to come to you very, very swiftly is what I'm hearing from the universe. Very swiftly make up your mind choose the desires and follow them. There's nothing to fear, but you must be a hundred percent certain. Whatever it is that you are a hundred percent certain of, such as your name or the sky being blue, when you have that certainty with your success, your victory, your happiness, and your joy, it is bound to be, period. You're the creator. Know who you are. You're becoming the star. All right, if you guys are deck number three, shout out to all of you guys. Shout out to you if you are a Reiki healer, a tarot teacher of the light. If you guys are doing this work, I appreciate you. I honor you. I'm grateful for you. There is There can never be enough readers who have a different perspective of delivering messages from the universe. So I'm very, very grateful to you for even posting, for being you, and for just, again, being you, just really, really having the brain and the courage to be you not many people do have that so 
I am moving on to deck number four. All right, last but not least, if you guys chose deck number four, this is the direct message from the universe to you. So the first question I asked the universe was, who am I speaking to? Give me the energy of the person who is going to choose deck number four. And this is your energy. We have the frog prosperity. So let go of the past and embrace a change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune awaits you. You are meant to receive good fortune and an abundance if you are deck number four. It doesn't matter how you got here. You got here. And the message directly from the universe is that you are prosperous and you are meant to be prosperous. You are meant to thrive. And you are also meant to be an example of prosperity. There's nothing wrong with desiring to have prosperity, material things, abundance, or good fortune, because if you're desiring it, it is you, it is part of you. It is meant to be experienced. So you are meant to receive prosperity. And what the universe is saying is be open to how it comes to you. If you think it's only going to come this way, you will be right with your power. You have the power to say it's your vibration. So if you say that, that is true, but why limit yourself to just receiving from one source or one way? You can find money on the floor tomorrow, but we're not looking or expecting or being open to, and that's why it's not coming in that way. So it can flow to you in infinite ways. Abundance can flow to you in over an infinite possible. I mean, there are so many possibilities. They say it's over an infinite of poss possibilities in this reality. So let's see what you're going through. I asked spirit to give me kind of some clarity on what it is that you guys were experiencing or going through right now. All right. We have the devil. We have Capricorn energy, just some things that maybe you feel like you're holding, holding on to, or feel like really have a strong tie on you is what I'm getting. We also have the Knight of cups could be a relationship. All right. We have the seducer. We also have the four of wands, which is completion. And we also have the Prince of Swords, which is the hacker. All right. And let's just see what spirit wanted to tell you, wanted you to know. Calming the waters, peaceful and self-regulation. Spirit is saying that you have the power to change your situation. Even if you don't feel like it's you, you have the power to attract the right people who can help you. Some of you are going to be prosperous, but it is not in a logical way. I am definitely seeing this. It's not really going to make sense to you how this prosperity comes to you, which is why you must be open to following your instincts. The only spiritual major arcana card we have here is the devil, which tells me that you have not been listening to the right voice. And that's what spirit is saying. It is not an intellectual voice. I feel like what's happening is with the hacker down here, you have been hacked mentally in your mind. Maybe you've been dealing with negative thoughts that you're, you're trying to kind of wrestle and force like, nope, I don't believe it. Like pushing it down. The voice that you've been following, there's a lot of, there's a lot of manipulation that has happened around you. Look at this. We have the, look at these cards, the devil, the seducer, and the hacker. Look, feel that energy that does not feel good. The devil does not feel good. A seducer does not feel good. A hacker. What do you mean? We have privacy on our computers for people like this. Boundaries is your, what you're learning right now. Spirit is saying you deserve unconditional love and that comes from you first of having the boundaries and being able to connect with your instincts your instincts will never ever lead you astray but you have to be open to the red flags that the universe is giving you this was the only deck that i have this specific message for Trust and know that this is coming from such a unconditional place of love for you there is no judgment we have all caught ourselves around the wrong people, believing the wrong things, believing the wrong things about ourselves that maybe even our thoughts have told us. 
It is okay. It is normal. It is part of the process. But when you learn who you are not, you should also be learning who you are. And one thing that you are is peace and harmony and unity. I see that you are around a lot of people who see you before you see you. So they see your light like, mm, they look prosperous. Prince Charming, you could be a girl or a guy. Prince Charming has a lot to offer. But you don't see it. And if you don't see it, imagine yourself having a bank account and a bunch of money in it, but you don't know. But then you meet someone who sees it and they know, but they're the devil. Then you meet someone who sees it and they're the seducer. Then you meet someone who sees it and they're a hacker. Spirit is saying you will never have to get yourself into these situations if you trust your instinct. And that's coming from developing a harmony and a more of a deeper connection with your higher self and the universe. With calming the waters peaceful self. So there is a way to have peaceful boundaries without feeling like you're stepping on someone's toes or breaking someone's heart, hurting someone's feelings. There's a way to to have boundaries because how do you know? You know when you feel it. You could feel it in your instinct when something's off. Some of you have been trusting the wrong people and it's okay. Many of us have been there, but I'm sensing that that's why you're here. This is like me unplugging you, disconnecting you like, hey, spirit is saying there is harmony. There, there is what you're looking for, but you have to be willing to set these regulations, these boundaries for what you're not and send back what you're not looking for. Okay. So what is it that deck four is attracting? What is it that they're attracting? Okay. We have the queen of wands. What is it that deck four is attracting? You're attracting more confidence in who you are, more confidence in how you see yourself. More self-love, more self-esteem, more knowing who you are, more confidence in that. Okay, look at this. We have the three of swords and the hermit. So some of you could definitely be taking some time. Our spirit is saying that you could be going into a place of just hermit mode. The, the hermit is the Virgo to kind of figure some things out. And this is good. It's great that you're now in this place because in silence and solitude is where you're going to hear intuition the most. Give me one card for deck number four. Who are they truly? Give me their true authentic self, their truest self. Shaman. You are a shaman. You are a magician and you don't even know it. Or maybe you have, maybe you hear it a lot. Maybe you hear it a lot, but you haven't really seen it. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for the good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as the keeper of mystery. So don't be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid of not knowing. Don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of these things. And how could you be? Number four, you are taking the leap to trusting and understanding this connection that you have intuitively. It's a communicative source. It is a tunnel of communication. It is a source of communication from higher self that is guiding you to being a magician, to understanding more of who you are. It's almost like you have training wheels on. And that is, again, there's nothing wrong with that. And, and understand that every thing is not, and, and that's what you guys are kind of healing. Like everything is not to hurt you. There are people who really genuinely want to help you with the right information and, and they don't want nothing from you. And that's why spirit is saying it's very important for you to connect with who you are because you are coming up as a raven and a shaman, someone who does have insight, but maybe it's just being blind to it. All right, spirit, I asked you exactly what it is that they needed to hear um, to really provoke their spirit. Embrace the feminine. Okay, so if you guys are a male, you're learning how to embrace your feminine side, feminine energy to you, even if you're a female. The feminine energy is not feeling like you have to do everything yourself, not feeling like you have to be the leader, but being open to uh, being compassionate, nurturing, leading, or not leading, but following. 
Okay, so the feminine energy is more of a follower, more of a nurturer, more of a compassionate person who really is connected with their emotions and their feelings, right? And nature and they, the, they're very sensitive to that. Now, whereas the masculine energy is where you take initiative, you take the approach, you're, you're the one that's doing everything, you're opening up your own car doors, you're carrying up your own groceries, you're being the masculine, you, you're being the, the leader, the initiator, the strong one who is leading everybody, who knows the, again, you're learning how to just embrace allowing something else to, to lead you, something higher than yourself. Because yourself is leading your yourself, your lower self, because you, your your mind, your identity, who you think you are, is leading you into these places. But there is harmony, marriage. I even hear marriage for you, with a true life partner here. But the reason why you keep attracting these people is because there's an imbalance in your feminine energy, and whatever that may be. Spirit also wants you to nourish the soul. It's exactly what I was saying. Are, are you doing what you feel like you have to do? Because every time you do what you have to do and you don't want to do it, genuinely, it doesn't make you feel good, is every time you're going against yourself, your true self, your spirit. To feel good is to feel God. So if you're not doing what feels good, but you're doing what you have to because of low vibrational thoughts of money or because of this and I have to do this, you are not operating from your soul. You are operating from your ego. What is their message from spirit? from their angels it's exactly what i was feeling is a lot of control here with you doing everything you're so used to doing it allowing someone else to come in and this else is your higher self your intuition spirit universe source so instead of fearing that others may try to control you by giving you the wrong information because of the past Try to seek and utilize and find where is the truth in what people are saying. Leave behind what isn't. That's really what is resonating. When we say what resonates with you, it's what's true to you. If it's true to you, that's because I am communicating with source who is the all-knowing. So when I ask who you are, I'm asking the all-knowing source of the universe. And of course, the universe knows you. I might not. I don't have to. See, that's the thing. There's so much more to understanding your connection and, and how to, to unlock that is just to continue to nourish your soul. How do I nourish my soul? Do what feels good to you. Have fun. That's how you nourish the soul. Have fun. Um, be at joy. Watch inspiring um, YouTube videos. Get into some spiritual enlightenment. Start seeking some of these, these answers for yourself. This is going to nourish your soul creating, being inspired, all of that is going to nourish your soul. Trust the signs in your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment, divine life purpose. You are being led to your life purpose here. Something that's going to bring fulfillment, something that's going to bring prosperity, something that was meant for you. But before it comes, you're sending boundaries. You're learning how to love yourself. You're learning how to just relax and enjoy because even that is spiritual what can they look forward to if they're here for deck number four thank you protection divine support spirit is saying that definitely if you guys are looking for more content enlightened education you can find it at the woke vault where we're talking about connecting with higher self and the universe divine support but how can you trust it if you don't know that divine 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 you're being guided even you were guided here what you do after will be guided you are divinely being supported and guided and protected and when you understand that you can let go of the control that's where the masculine energy comes from having to do everything yourself and then it's like here i am saying let it all go don't do it and you're like well who's going to do it the universe and um, and this universe thing feels imaginative so if you don't understand the truth of it and the presence of it and, and the difference between you, your ego leading you, which is what you think is best. I think this is, I think, well, you keep thinking and you don't know. And to, to think is to believe. That's mind. 
To know is your instincts. You just know. You don't have to know why. You don't have to know how. You just have to know this doesn't feel good. Goodbye. This job, this person, this place, I have to nourish my soul. And this allows you to take a feminine approach of, I don't know. Because you know, with the masculine energy, they always know they're innovative. They're the leaders, the feminine, they, they're, they're just following. They, they work together simultaneously, but there's a more of a following submission here. And it has to be to something higher than you to lead you to these unlimited places that even your ego, your mind, what you think is limited. Promise of the future. If you are here, spirit is saying there is a promise of the future. Spirit is saying, I won't let you down. And even though the wrong people did, that's what I'm saying. That's why we have to heal this. Yes, the wrong people have may let you down or not have been there, but spirit, universe, God, source is not people. And if we're going to trust anything, let's give it a shot. We're willing to trust this person because they read these books and this person because they know this. It's like, there's a higher source of intellect that we're all connecting to. How about you connect there? And then you'll never need a person again. You will just literally be the feminine energy to the masculine energy of the universe, which is direction. That's what a masculine does. It directs. You're tired of doing that, right? You're ready for, to feel confident and good about being leaded and guided about the information that you're getting. And spirit is saying divine supports coming in promises of the future are coming in. And so is protection. So if you guys are here, deck number four, you're still here. Thank you for being brave. Cause I know this can be a lot to hear sometimes, but you are on, still on the right path. And even to be here, which is just a pit stop. So now that we can redirect you on the next path, which is even more closer in alignment to your true self. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like it. I can't wait to come back with some more videos. Thank you for still being here and being a part of the community and the tribe. If you guys are looking for more information, you can always find it in the description box below. Again, thank you for being a part of this reading, letting me guide you as a spiritual teacher in your life. In the meantime, I'm going to move on. I'm out of here. Love and light.